My name is N. A. Cauldron. Normally, I like to do these as Miss Cauldron, but for some reason, I wanted to do this one as me. So you get the real me this time. I was eight when my mom brought me a, a typewriter. And I remember typing a woman. I, I want to write a story. I want to write a I didn't think book, I, wrote, I thought stories. Well, a woman went to buy a dress. Oh, it's a red dress. So, you know, I'm typing, you know, <laughs> it's not going well. <laughs> and and uh, then I'm like, okay, well, what, what else do I need to do? Oh, she needs it for a party. P, A. You know, by the time I got the second set, it's done, it's time for supper. I don't remember anything after that. When I was, I was, I may have been younger than eight, to be honest, probably like five or something. I, I don't remember. I remember writing in fifth grade. I wrote a silly little Halloween story about vampiric squirrels. And I just thought it was the greatest thing in the world. And I thought it needed to be at the top of the board because it was awesome. So I obviously enjoyed writing then. I wrote when I was 12. And that didn't go over well. We won't go into that. And then I wrote when I was 14. And my mom went through my purse and found what I'd been writing and apparently thought it was true, thought it was real, thought it was actually me because I did write it in the first person. And I did not write again for probably 20 years after that. I was like, oh gosh, my boy had was, um, was a few months old, I guess, when I started writing again. And at the time, I'd been an actor. I'd, I'd been in the entertainment industry for a while. And at that point, I... Um, I said, well, um, I, I want to write some scripts. So I started writing scripts, and the scripts turned into narrative, and the narrative started turning into a book. And I had no idea how to finish the book. I had no idea how to do any of that. So that book sat there for like 10 years, and I started doing picture books after that. And I started submitting those. Those were the first ones I submitted, and I got no response or all rejection or this, that, and the other. And then I finally wrote Anya, which was my very first book. The libraries here are, at least in the children's, the middle grade department, they're lacking compared to what I was used to. I was used to Knoxville. So now my library had awesome books all the time and I would get at least a new one every month. It was great. Um, I don't get that option here. It's very rare for me to find a middle grade book here that I like, very rare. So I wasn't getting what I wanted or what I needed. So I wrote my own. The original Anya was a mess. She had panic attacks. She was constantly anxious. I took that out because no kid wants to read about some kid having a panic attack over nothing. You know, they want to read something where, where the main character defeats these problems in their life, is not defeated by them. And that, and you know, I could just see some parent picking it up and going, wow, who's the freaking Zoid that wrote this, right? That would be me. Um, so yeah, all that's out, don't worry. It's it's not freaky weird book, it's really not. But that that was take, that, that, that's how it changed. Another thing, another major, major issue, and like the first, the first chapter, it was originally called Kitchen Elf, but I wanted I wanted a book series where there was at least one word in each book that was the same so that, you know, kids knew they went together. And Kitchen Elf is not going to be in two, three, and four. So I knew I had to change it. And I changed it to Anya. That way Anya is in all the books. And the first chapter, if you go to my blog, and it will say first the original first chapter of Kitchen Elf. And it's written in second person. And originally I had um, you... Your grandmother was on you, and you were going through a portal, and you're trying to you go to Capola from Earth, and you're trying to figure out. Um, now beware, that chapter's not edited or nothing, so <laughs> it's a mess. You're trying to figure out what you know. You want to learn the true story of your grandma and everything. And I think I had Terrence still alive, and you went and visited him or something. Um, it was really cool, and I had some people really like it, but. Then I wrote the rest of the book in the regular third person. Then you come back to the end of the book where 
you come back to, to you. And even if it was done immaculately, and even if it was great, you know, another another author, H.L. Burke, if I'm sure you, you all are pretty familiar with her, she told me, she said, you know, that's too much for kids that age. They're not going to grasp the switch, the time switch, and the, and the dimension. They're not going to get the constant switching back and forth between time periods and, and realms. I said, you know, you're right. So that, that was a huge change. Um, I, so I had to rewrite, I think I have at least three first chapters for that book before I settled on the one I'm on. My typical writing session includes after homeschool, I take a few minutes to break to keep from, you know, just to settle. And then I come out here and I do my writing for a couple of hours. I try to do at least 1,000, 1,200 words or from editing. I try to get in a good chapter or two. And I always, always, always try to end on a good spot. I never go, oh, this is too hard. I'll work on it tomorrow because then I won't want to come out here tomorrow. But if I end on, oh, yes, and I can do that. That is so easy. I can do that tomorrow. I want to come out here tomorrow. Then I'm good. So uh, that's my typical writing session Monday through Friday two hours a day rarely if ever on the weekends and I don't always get to it during the week because things happen middle grade period that's it I currently have two or three um, ebooks on hold from the library they're middle grade and they're new, brand new. I forgot the name of them. Um, I will say I recently read uh, Anybody But Ivy Pocket. I recommend that. That one's awesome. And I do apologize for not knowing the name of it, but they're middle grade. They're from the Knoxville Library. I kept my card. Yeah, I'm on book two. When I finish this series, um, I do have a young adult romance with a twist. I guess you'd call it a romance. It's kind of got a little secret in there, though. Um, I don't know if it'll be a series or not. I, mean, I know I'd love for it to be Everybody Wants Them, but I can't guarantee that. And then after that, I'll do adult. Plan to do adult. But that's a long ways away, so you never know what's going to happen. You can always go back and change it. When I wrote Anya, the first book, I had a posting note I kept up here. It's okay not to be perfect. What held me back more than anything was trying to edit as I wrote. Don't do that. That's bad. Bad writer. Bad. When you, um, when you're writing, you're going to screw up. I mean, look what I told you about my first book. Get it out. I don't care if your character's foot falls off in the middle of the desert for no reason whatsoever, do it. I don't care if your character, when this happened to me, tells you, and they're not the main character, and they tell you they want to be a part of it, so you have to write a stupid scene with that character in it just to get him to shut up, do it. You can take it out. I did. In my first book, Terrence um, wanted you know something to happen. I put it in there, and then I took it out later, because it obviously didn't fit. Um, write it out. You can always go back and change it. You cannot, you can't teach someone how to write. So quit trying to have, tr quit trying to learn how to write. Learn how you write. And that's what the really hard part was like for me. You have to learn how you write. There is no learn how to write. Everybody's different, and, and that's what you have to learn. Books or movies? TV. Dogs or cats? Cats. I have two dogs and three cats, and I prefer the dogs, but I can leave a cat over the weekend. I can't leave a dog eight hours. <laughs> cats. Summer or winter? Used to be summer because you used to always get cold. But now that we have wood heat and a cook on a wood stove, winter. Cake or ice cream? <laughs> cake. I actually like cake ice cream because I like icing when it's frozen. 
Will this say cake? I could put it on ice cream, right? Car, motorcycle, car. Ebook or physical book? I want that sucker in my hand. I don't like ebooks. I want the real thing. Nights out or nights in? I haven't been out dancing since college. No. Since right before we were married. We can't afford to go out. I have been wanting to go out. Oh gosh, we've been married 13 years. I would love a night out. Please, can I have a night out? <laughs> Please. Um, living in the city or living in the country. I, I really miss the convenience of the city. I really, really do. But I don't miss anything else. So I would rather stay in the country if I could. Is there any way I could just beam myself to the store? That way I circumvent all the country problems. Um, telepathy or telekinesis? If it's just me, telepathy, but if everybody has it, telekinesis, because I really don't want other people knowing what I'm thinking. That could get ugly. Fast. <laughs> Being able to travel to the past or to the future. I would love to go to the past because I'd love to visit some really cool people in the past. Um, and I'd like to visit myself in the past and give myself some advice, which I'm sure I wouldn't listen to. I'd like to visit the future so I know what to expect and can come back and know some things. Maybe talk to my future self. That would be cool. But with my luck, I would land in uh, the middle of World War III. But I'm still going to go with future because I can hide where all World War III is going on, right? And make it back alive. Will that work? Really? Maybe? Um, phone call or text? If I know you, phone call. If I don't know you, text. Because I don't like the phone to ring and I don't know who you are. It freaks me out. Um, traveling by car or airplane? I've only been in an airplane once, so I have no idea. Car. Um, hotel or camping, I, I guess hotel. I mean, I, I live a pretty rough life now, so it's not a, much different than camping for me. So we'll just, we'll just say hotel. Because at least that way I got, you know, TV. Group or alone? Alone. Lose all your money or every picture you've ever taken and every picture that has ever been taken of you. Lose all my money. Been there, done that, I can do it again. Uh, true love or win the lottery? True love. Spider-Man or Batman for a day? Catwoman. I'm not into superheroes. Um, but Catwoman's hot. Spider-Man and Batman, eh. You know, I would be Catwoman. So anyway, it's been great doing this, and I really appreciate it, and thank you. And I hope to see you again.